bit of wisdom that would ensure our future success and happiness. Until I realized that we don't need it. We are Kings Point graduates, alumni of the best damn service academy in the United States of America. Hello, and welcome to Kings Point Spotlight. I'm Lieutenant Tyrone Broxton. And on today's episode, I have the pleasure of being joined on the McNulty campus at the American Merchant Marine Museum with Midshipman Marie Ebers. Midshipman Ebers is the 2010 valedictorian of the Merchant Marine Academy, where she'll be soon earning her Bachelor's of Science degree in Logistics and Intermodal Transportation Management. Midshipman Ebers, thanks for joining us today on Kings Point Spotlight. Thank you very much for having me. Now, I always like to have my guests give a shout out of their hometown, their high school, let everybody back at home say hello to them and let them know where you're from. Uh, hi to everyone in the Woodlands, Texas, and uh, I'm from Oak Ridge High School. Hi, Mom and Dad. <laughs> now, let's talk about your journey to Kings Point. A little bit interesting, maybe a little unorthodox to some extent in comparison to most of the, uh, the students here that may come directly from high school or maybe even prep school. You first went to the University of Texas where you're a bio uh, medical engineer. Um, why did you end up coming to Kings Point? Now, I take it you came here after your sophomore year at Texas? Yes. Um, after high school, I went into University of Texas at Austin. I was majoring in biomedical engineering. Um, about two years in, I did my first internship, doing what I would do after I graduated, and I decided that it wasn't for me. Mm -hmm. So uh, I came back home, reevaluated, decided to apply to Kings Point, and here I am. Here you are. Here <laughs> you are. Yes. Now. Four years of hard work, it comes down to the United States Coast Guard license exam. Yes. And I know there's a ton of preparation that goes into that exam. Um, when you finished and you saw your name that you passed, what type of a relief came over you after this whole entire long journey? It is the best feeling when you look on that list and you see that you finished all of your license exams. Um, the Coast Guard license exam really is a culmination of everything that you've learned here the last four years. So it's just kind of like a sign of, okay, this is it. I am done. I've reached the end. I took those tests that I passed and I'm graduating. It is the best feeling in the world awesome. to ring that bell yes. right after you uh, pass license. Yes. Now I discovered that you were the valedictorian from your sister's Facebook post, <laughs> Bishop me and Ariana Ebers, who's a uh -huh. third classman. She was on one of our uh, Kings Point Spotlight features on the uh, Navigation Laboratory <laughs> recently. So we had to have the whole sister combination going on here. Um, so that's how I learned it. But how did you learn it and what was your reaction? Uh, I received an email. It was the week before license exams when we were studying. Um, that Wednesday from the Dean asking for me to come down to his office. Um, I wasn't sure what it was about. I was pretty sure I was missing credits. Okay. I was like, oh, this is not what I need right now. Um, I came down there uh, and he told me and I was shocked and ecstatic. Um, very proud of myself and very thankful for all the support that I had from all of my family and friends here and back at home because I couldn't have done it without their help and support. Yeah. Now it was obvious that you took care of your business in the classroom, but let's talk about, you know, uh, being a King's Pointer, being a midshipman here is about being a well-rounded individual. So what did you do uh, from an athletic standpoint, extracurricular standpoint, and even did you have any regimental uh, leadership positions? Uh, yeah. I started off my plebe year, I was a coxswain for the crew team, um, and I was an active member of the color guard. I participated at Cornell uh, my second and third class year. I continued participating in Color Guard. Um, I also do the women's Bible study um, on Thursdays during lunch hour. And uh, this year, my senior year, I am the co-editor of the Midships Yearbook. Um, I'm also the secretary of the Society of Asian American Mariners, the SAM Club on campus. Um, so you had a pretty busy uh, yeah. resume in addition to your classroom work uh -huh. too. How did you manage your time? Um, you know, just time management. You have to know when to say no, unfortunately. Sometimes you just can't go out because you've got that paper. Yes. Even though it's Thirsty Thursday, if you have an exam <laughs> Friday morning, you've got to stay in. Yes, uh, very good. Now, one of the unique aspects of the Academy is Sea Year. Where did you go and what type of ships did you work aboard? My first sailing period, I went over to the Far East. I was on the APL Thailand. So I got to see um, China, Japan, uh, Taiwan. I'm actually from Korea. So my ship went to Korea and I was able to get nice. off and visit my aunt who I haven't gotten to see in a long time. 
so she took me out to eat. Okay. Um, second sailing period, I stayed coastwise. I was on a tanker. It ran from uh, Louisiana to Florida and back, and then I was on a row row vessel. It ran from uh, Seattle to Alaska. Okay, tremendous, tremendous. Now, Kings Point graduates get work. All right, even in the midst of all that's going on with your session, Kings Point graduates, you're out of here. In many instances, you're going to have a job as long as you took care of your business and went to, you know, got your resumes out and went to the interviews and whatnot. Um, how are things looking for you right now? Uh, good. I have a couple job offers right now. I haven't quite decided what I'm going to take, but um, I definitely know that when I get out of here, I have a job waiting for that's me. That's tremendous. So. Now, are you uh, have you settled on the Naval Reserve or are you going to go another route? Uh, Naval Reserve. Okay, tremendous, tremendous. Now, being a female at the academy can be a challenge. Population's hovering around 12%. Uh, we've, we're improving every year, but it's around 12% historically. Um, what do you say to female prospects who are interested in the academy? Um, what was your experience, and what do you say to those young ladies who may be considering Kings Point? I definitely had a very positive experience. I encourage all females to apply. Uh, I'm an example. You can be a girl here and succeed. Being a minority on campus doesn't mean that you are in any way um, disabled from achieving anything you want to achieve. Uh, you can join any club, any sport. If there's something that you want to do that isn't available, um, you can ask and find an advisor to do it. Uh, it's definitely a great place and it's a great education. So I definitely encourage all females to come. Awesome. Mr. Chipman Evers, thank you very congratulations much. Congratulations on being thank a valedictorian, you. class thank of 2010, you. and good luck on writing that speech that we'll be <laughs> hearing from you very, very soon. Thank you. And that concludes this edition of Kings Point Spotlight. For all of us in admissions, I'm Lieutenant Tyrone Broxton. Until next time, act in on Verba and go Mariners. Cool Park. <laughs> James Arthur Gibbons. <laughs> Joseph Delargy. We are already destined for success and happiness and have the brightest and best of futures in front of us. And nothing said today would have changed that. So do you feel it? That ball of nervous excitement in the guts of your stomach right now? That anxious, giddy feeling in the pits of your stomach. That is the willpower, the momentum, and the drive to success that each and every one of us already possess simply from having made it out of this place. <laughs> we had it inside of us already before we even rang that bell. The tools, the drive, and the discipline to become more than we ever imagined we could be. So thank you, my classmates, my shipmates, for teaching me to go forth and embrace what my future holds because it will be wonderful. All I have to do is look into your faces to realize that. We are amazing and unlimited possibilities await us. So congratulations class of 2010, we made it. <laughs>